Hello my friends, I'm back to cover more forgotten, but also some new, underappreciated hidden gem VR games. This video features a very wide range of different game types, including strategy games, RPGs, shooters, and more. Have you ever seen a game come out in early access and be pleasantly surprised to see it continually updated and finally delighted to see it reach an official release? Well, that's how I feel about Vengeful Rights. It's a fantasy action RPG that originally came out in early access almost three years ago. At the time, it was just the first chapter of the story, but the developer has been incredibly faithful and committed to updating this throughout the years. And this week, the game is now completed and fully released. In Vengeful Rites, you go on a magical adventure to defeat the evil Dragor. And on your quest, you'll explore a variety of environments and ecosystems. All the while facing off in combat against many different enemies. And also flexing your brain with frequent puzzles. The combat is really satisfying, and while it's not fully physical like, say, Boneworks, it still works really well with the swordplay striking and blocking feeling legit. The combat system requires you to make big swings at the enemies or you don't cause damage, so you're forced to be intentional with all your swings. If you like a little bit of smithing, then you might enjoy the mining, crafting, and custom enchanting you can give to your blade arsenal. Besides sword play, there's also archery and an ever-evolving magic system. The magic is all gesture-based. Summoning your shield is done with a twist like you're turning a key. And the basic destruction spells have you throwing elements at enemies. As you adventure on, you'll develop many more types of magic as well. But perhaps the thing that I appreciated most about this game is the humor. One of us should go check that out, and I'm allergic to fire. So, off you go. This game has a great light-hearted tone that perfectly matches the colorful visual style. Ah, oh, what a world. This game pokes fun of itself, and RPGs in general, which I think makes the tone of the game really stand out from the crowd. Well, I wish you the best of luck, adventurer. That said, if you don't make it, do me a favor and try to die nearby. I could fetch a fair amount of gold for the gear you've got on you, and I'd hate to have to come find it if things go south. Speaking of gear, you should buy something. This is a business, not a library. The full version of Vengeful Rights took me 17 hours to beat. So for the price of $20, you get a lot of bang for your buck. And there's a free demo available so you can sample the game. But if you have a retinophobia, be warned about a very nasty boss fight. All right, got it. Holy God damn it. Jeez. Oh, damn it. For movement, you can choose either sliding or teleporting. If you like RPG adventures, then I highly recommend Vengeful Rites. Eternal Starlight is a space combat strategy game where you command your fleet with hands-on abilities. The main campaign mode features a little bit of story as you play from mission to mission in a variety of combat challenges, while you slowly build up more resources to increase the size of your fleet, and also totally customize each individual ship with weapon loadouts and special abilities. To play the combat missions themselves, you command each of the ships and your fleet in real time. Move them like tiny toy ships in space, and also use each of the special powers of each ship that you've customized. Like selecting a special weapon, and then dragging it with your hand to the enemy to target them. If you zoom in on an enemy ship, you can even target individual systems of that ship to be destroyed first. While conversing with alien races before battle, it kinda reminded me of Star Control 2. And while this game is more an RTS than an RPG, this still gave me some nostalgia for the Star Control series. The campaign play is permadeath, so once you're dead, you're dead for good. But there's also a skirmish mode to experiment and beef up your skills. Eternal Starlight is a beautiful RTS and fully qualifies as a hidden gem, since I haven't heard anybody else talking about it. If you're a strategy fan, then it's a must play. 
The price is $20. Gunheart is a fast-paced sci-fi shooter within a linear adventure. Run and teleport through exotic worlds while blasting away at a ton of insect aliens. This came out way back in 2018. I recently picked it up during one of the Steam sales, and I think this has aged surprisingly well. The overall presentation and graphics look awesome. Based on the visuals alone, you could convince me that this game came out today. Besides obviously shooting guns, you also have a multi-tool. But think of the multi-tool like a Half-Life gravity gun. Because while it can pull levers, it can also collect and launch most items, including enemies. As you're blasting away at alien bugs, be on the lookout for cash. Shoot to collect it, so you can buy more weapons and upgrades in the shop. And once you start to buy more weapons, you can customize your loadout for each mission. For both your main guns, and also the bonus guns, which you summon by bringing your hands together. So it's a relatively straightforward shooter, but in the campaign there are branching mission paths and special challenges. The Steam page boasts multiplayer, but it seems that the multiplayer servers are gone, so it's just a single player game now. The regular price these days is just $15, which I think is an insanely good price for this highly polished of a game. If you enjoy frenetic and challenging action, definitely check it out. Dead Effect 2 VR. Okay, hear me out on this one. Because I'll be the first to admit that the story and writing in Dead Effect 2 is simply awful. But if you enjoy shooting zombies, then I think you'll find a lot of fun in here. But again, don't expect good writing or story. Now let's mention the good. The visuals and atmosphere look great. The gameplay gets surprisingly deep as a shooter, with custom character builds and upgrades, co-op multiplayer, and tons of levels featuring a variety of objectives and missions. For a campaign zombie shooter, this game is huge. You'll easily find over 30 hours of exciting gameplay in here. The price is $25, and it frequently goes on sale. It's locked from the outside. The Secret of Retropolis is a narrative game that harkens back to the glory days of point-and-click adventures. There it is. I better take a small sip and that's it. Ah, that's a strong drink. In a colorful, charming, and yet corrupted world of cartoon robots, you play as a private eye in a film noir mystery. Of all the offices of all the private investigators in all of Metropolis, she had to walk into mine. Is it because I'm the only robot stupid enough to work as a PI in this city? I can't remember. I'm drunk right now. Solve some puzzles and explore the world around you to crack the biggest case of your career. <sighs> it's empty. If you enjoyed the classic Sierra or LucasArts point-and-click adventure games, then I think you'll have a great time here. The writing is outstanding, and I laughed out loud very frequently while playing this silly adventure. I do wish it was longer though, because I thoroughly enjoyed it. Playtime is about an hour, the price is $13. Is he the reason you don't want to be seen here? It's not what you think, Mr. Log. Have you seen any of my films? What do you think about them? I'm your biggest fan, Mrs. Montage. You were made to be a star. Well, some critics say I tend to overact. That's not your fault. It's your algorithms. Back in the day, I thought life was like a romantic movie. Architect is a puzzle game where there's a tiny silhouette claymation character needing to reach the end goal to every level. But the poor little guy has no idea where to go, so you need to guide the character by placing certain golden objects in correct places so the little character knows where to go. 
Anything that's golden you can move or manipulate, like moving doors, stairways, elevators, etc. It's a simple premise, but you will find this challenging as you have to search a lot to find the correct objects to put in place. It's visually beautiful with great sound design and music. It is a little on the short side, but then again, it's a free download. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.